if land sailing is not brought then there will be blood bath this is what he said he did not mind anybody saying anything he he gave up his own lands he had got thousands of acres he, he left everything he was a pakka socialist in the 80s he used to have quarrels with me on this about his all this he was very pro soviet also suddenly there was a change mr gorbachev teared down this wall the photograph of that indian express published my article of india pledging its gold reserves that hit home dr kalam used to always say this you see that you know he has a knack of converting adversity into an advantage and this is one attitude which says uh, you know fortunes of the country in my opinion because 1991 we all know what the condition was if he had looked around for advice many people would have recommended that he should do what they actually did but there would be some recommending moving in the opposite direction and you should read some of the papers written by the left front economists at that time even the congress party had was a strong advocate of socialism and protection for many many years no he is the leader of a party which is committed to old policy he has to convince the whole world that he is now starting a new policy how do you do it brilliant move you brought manmohan singh as the finance minister yeah, any prime minister would have done the same or imf pushed as yes uh, he was just being at the right time you are you are saying any prime minister would have done the same done the question the same. is is there any prime minister who could have done the same because you needed not just to have the right people you needed to have the right policies you needed to have the courage and not only the courage let me tell you at that time you had a parliament which was against you you had a party that was unsure of itself that had lost its roof it was a new period in india no one could think that an indian prime minister would be going out asking foreign investors for money because we were so steeped in uh, self reliance he was not a fond of rhetorical flourishes or event management no uh, but in terms of building those institutions once that thing incident happened everybody became a saint Oh how my god what a horrible prime minister terrible prime minister incompetent prime minister let the country down only if i was prime minister i would not have allowed this so why didn't you say it one day before why did wisdom dawn on you one day after and he said what do i do with her i said why you ask me he said no it's uh, it's uh, affecting my health i can uh, i can take her home i don't want to on one side sonia gandhi was against him bjp targeted him because he was dangerous for them he was a pakka hindu he is doing economic reforms so what is bjp got left that his party has in fact uh, worked extra hard at making him a forgotten prime minister they used babri masjid to hang him politically they put the entire blame on one man and then clean themselves you know okay he is to blame all of us are pure he is untouchable that is what they did to him. and literally on the day of his death they did not allow the body to enter the party The heart of Narasimha Rao's success story was how he was able to achieve so much with so little. His is the ultimate story of the success of the underdog. What kind of uh, image would you like to have, or what kind of stamp would you like to leave on your prime ministership? I'll think about it and let you know. <laughs>